Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping in. You're welcome to come back anytime. Today is March the 2nd, 2021, and I'm going to be showing y'all how to cook a barbecue coon. So stay with me. Okay guys, so what I have here is a good skit, and you can tell it's a good fat coon. First thing you want to do is when you got your coon skit, which this one's been in the freezer since about January, sometime. First thing you want to do is try to get as much of this fat off of it as you can. I'm going to lay it down here. If you want to get as much fat off of it as you can, these big old chunks of fat. You don't want that old greasy taste. If you don't get that off, your coon ain't going to be good tasting. After we get this fat off this coon, we're going to put this coon and we're going to boil it. But we're going to put a pack of this crawfish shrimp crab bowl in that water. And we're going to boil this coon until it gets tender. And you want it tender. You don't want it falling off the bone. So then we're going to put it on the grill and barbecue. Or as the boiling time, that all depends on the coon, how big he is, how old he was. We just put him in the water and about 15 minutes later we'll check him and every 15 minutes check it until I get it to the stage I want it. But you want to get this good, this thick fat right here off. You ain't going to get it all off because you'll start getting too much of your meat. It ain't that much meat on the coon. This was a fat coon. I like to cut them right up under their front shoulders there. Get that gristle. Leave a bad taste in meat, even when you're doing squirrel. Gland there. So it's off their scent. You want to get that out. All right, guys, we got our coon fat trimmed off. You can see there's a 32-ounce container there, and it's slim full of fat come off that coon. So now we're going to go over, and we're going to put this coon in this boiling water. Okay, guys. Now we're going to take our coon. We're going to put this Louisiana crawfish shrimp and crab boil. Take one little bag of it. And I already had my water heated up and it started to a bowl. I'm gonna put that in there. And we'll get my coon. I got it over here in the sink where I just washed it up good after I got through removing the fat. We're gonna put that coon in there. And we're gonna let her boil. We'll check on it about every 15 minutes. But like I said, you don't want it falling off the bone. You just want it tender. 
Now what I'm cooking this in, this is a handy deal. I bought it for water bath canning. It's made by Ball, electric water bath canner. But it's a versatile multi-cooker. You can boil, steam, cook, simmer, and blanch in it. It's basically just a pot that sits on electric iron. You ain't got to use your propane when you're canning, doing a lot of canning, and works out good for stuff like this. Boiling shrimp when you ain't doing it just for a few of you, or boil, even boiling crawfish if you're just doing it for yourself or just you and your wife or something. It's, it's real handy. So stay with me. We're going to boil this coon, then we're going to get it barbecued, seasoned up, and put it on the grill. Eat us a little coon today. All right, guys, it's been 15 minutes, so we're just going to raise it up. Stick the fork through it. Ain't gonna be much longer. We're probably gonna give it about 15 more minutes. I'll probably check it in between that. But you gotta make sure it's stuck down in the water where it stays in the water. Make sure you little crab bowl bags down in there good. All right, guys, our coon has been boiling for 30 minutes. Pork goes in real tender. So now we're going to move over here and put this coon and show you what to do with it next. All right, so next, guys, we got our coon here. We let them lay it on tin foil. And I got some sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy. Barbecue sauce, that's a 40 ounce bottle. I put about half of that bottle into me a bowl. Then I take brown sugar, approximately a half a cup of brown sugar. I mix in this barbecue sauce. That makes that barbecue sauce, gets that sticky candy texture. Mix that up real good. There, got some clumps in it that I gotta mash out. A little windy out today. Normally my barbecue sauce, I like Kraft's original. And I take like a 40 ounce bottle, mix me about three quarters of a cup of brown sugar with it, one tablespoon of mustard, and about one tablespoon to two tablespoons of honey. And that's always been my favorite barbecue sauce. Like I said, that some of this stuff nowadays is like it's sweet and spicy. Yeah, they got brown sugar and they got honey, but it, it ain't enough of it that when it barbecues, I, I like it to where it kind of glazes over. But anyway, we're gonna sprinkle this coon here with just a little Creo. I'm going to fold this tin foil up here. But first, all I'm going to do is take some of this barbecue sauce. And I'm going to mix it with some hot water to thin it down. And we're going to pour that in the bottom of this tin foil. So when you're cooking it, that'll keep it 
keep your meat moist, that steam coming up. Alright, so I got me a half a cup of boiling water there. I'm gonna mix some of that barbecue sauce in with it. Like I said, this is just to keep your meat moist plus that steam. It'll kind of give that flavor of that barbecue sauce as it's steaming up. That's why I mix it in there with it. And this other barbecue sauce we're going to put in the ice box. Right, guys, I better get another cup. I better put two cups of water in there. That's a pretty good size, too. All right, we're going to put two cups of water in there. I'm going to take a little of this barbecue sauce. Kind of rub around on him just a little bit. Not thick. We, we ain't barbecuing him yet. We're still tenderizing. Tender rising in flavor. Alright guys, I'm gonna cover him with a cover him with a piece of tin foil so that steam will stay in there while he's cooking on that grill. And he's ready to go on the grill. Alright guys, we finna set him on his grill. And I got the rack raised up a little bit there so he ain't sitting straight on the fire. And we're gonna let him cook on about 250 degrees there for about 30 or 45 minutes. And we're going to come back, we're going to take the tin foil off, and then we're going to start mopping barbecue sauce on him and letting it glaze over over the heat to finish cooking. All right, guys. This has been cooking at 275 degrees for about 45 minutes now. So we're going to take this out of the tin foil. it on that grill now off camera I had to change up my tin foil kept leaking so I took it and cut it in half and put it in a tin foil pan and covered it back up and I forgot to turn my camera on while I was doing that so we've been layer on that grill like that We finna start mopping barbecue sauce on it. And we're gonna leave it sitting on that about 275. And I'll mop this and then I'll wait about 10 minutes and I'll open it back up. Put another mopping on it, turn it over. Cut it in half, worked better on this little grill. Anyway. Alright, I got it good and mopped up. Hey guys, we're going to let this sit there and cook. Like I said, about another 10 or 15 minutes, then I'm going to mop another coating on there. And then the next time, I might let it go just a little bit longer, according to what it's looking at. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna mop her down again. It could have went a little longer. We let it go longer this next time. Look at that. Just pull right off. Yeah. 
Turn the heat down just a little bit. Hi guys. I got to cook barbecue coon here in the house. It was raining and sleeting outside, so I grabbed it off the grill and come in the house. As you can see here, that's pretty and barbecue. Check a piece of it, see? See, it ain't falling off the bone, but it's pretty tender. Turned out quite well it did. Get you a little baked sweet potato, some pork and beans on the side, and you have yourself a meal right there. Now, coon ain't something that I eat all the time. It's something that you do kind of at the camps. And it ain't that it ain't good eating. It's good eating. It's just the idea of it being a coon. But it, like I said, it's good eating. As long as I can kill, kill me some venison and some rabbits and some squirrels and I got chickens and it ain't something I'm gonna eat all the time. But what the southern boys do at the camp, like I said, it tastes, tastes pretty good. If you don't mind the idea of eating a coon, you ought to try cooking you one up like that. Pretty good eating. The longer you boil it, the tender to get, or the longer you cook it on the grill slow. Now y'all know anybody that they're off that back right there, it's your enough tender. Mmm. Make you want to get a coon dog. Anyway guys, hope you like this little video. Like I said, if you ain't never cooked a coon, you ought to try it one time in your life. It's better than what you're going to think it is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. God bless. Have a great day. Thank you.